How you doing, YouTube? Matt with Massive Beer Reviews, back with you another review. And uh, it is stout time in the form of Third Rail Brewing's alternate side. Um, never heard of this beer before, never had this beer before, never had anything from this brewery before. Um, the reason why I'm having it now is because it was sent to me by the lovely Thomas. Thank you very much, Thomas. Thomas sent me an awesome beer meal um, not too long ago. Told him it was going to take me a while to get through these beers, but apparently I'm a big fat liar. Um, even though when this is posted, it might be a little bit. Anyway, um, he sent me a great uh, Brooklyn beer, uh, Six Point beer, a uh, transmitter beer, Soft Decay, this, and uh, this is the last one I'm reviewing out of that bunch, so I'm super excited to give it a whirl. Uh, as far as what it says in a bottle, um, it says alternate side, stout brewed with chili peppers and cinnamon. Um, Third Rail Brewing Company, 8.1% uh, alcohol by volume, and that is it. Now, label-wise, this fucker is fucking fantastic. Um, really not much on there as far as touting themselves, and it's really sketchily drawn. If you can see on there, it's just drawn really cool, like black on white, really nice artwork, nice design. The whole thing about it just... Um, I dig it, man. Very gritty, very New York. Very, uh, what the brewery's all about. So, yeah. I like stouts. I love chilies. And I like cinnamon. So, this might... Hopefully, this sucker is right up my alley. Um, let's see what she has to offer. Get this bottle open to work on this thing here. Let's see. I forget where my other bottle opener went to. I'm sure it's sitting around here somewhere. Let's see. Ooh. Smell a nice cinnamon from, from afar already. Yeah. Okay, first things first. Finger is about as creamy a head as you could possibly imagine in the history of the world with the most compact bubbles as you could possibly imagine. It's got this kind of milk chocolatey head to it too. Got a grayish brown going on. Um, a little bit of carbonation going on. It's sticking to the walls. Um, could be a glass cleaning thing. I cleaned this glass a while ago. So, might have had some dust in there. So, poo poo on me for that. Um, so, yeah. It looks like a stout. Let's see what she smells like. <laughs> hmm. Chocolate, cinnamon. Nice chili there. It doesn't smell too hot. It smells like it has a nice spiciness to it, not necessarily a heat. But yeah, that cinnamon's there, that chocolate's there. It smells nice and fluffy and creamy. A um, little bit almost smells like a, like a lactose type sugar, like a milk stout. I could be wrong on that. Um, but yeah, it smells like it has a beautiful mouthfeel to it. A lot of people are like, how the fuck can you smell mouthfeel? Well, this smells like it has a beautiful mouthfeel on it. It just smells rich, but not overly sweet and nice density to it. Um, you can see from the head, see from the bubbles, the smell, everything about it. Seems like this mouthfeel is going to be uh, pretty damn fantastic. Um, along with the nose, I think I'm going to get a nice balance between that... Uh, that uh, cinnamon and chocolate and um, and spiciness. Um, and if it is a milk stout, hopefully it is. I'm kind of hoping because I like my chilies to be in milk stout because you kind of get that heat, but then that milk stout, that lactose kind of balances it out and makes it get to a point but doesn't get over the top. So she looks the part, she smells the part. Let's see what she tastes like. Cheers. fucking delicious a little little bit of, I don't want to say bad finish on it but a little bit of an off finish on it first thing you get in the mouth is really nice mouthfeel nice creaminess nice fluffiness to it then you get just a little bit of cinnamon a little bit of chocolate maybe even a, little, a nice not a little bit decent amount of roasted malt then that just kind of chili heat builds in the back. And you get like a little almost vegetable like kind of finish on it. Like a little bit of a like a like a grassy kind of grainy finish. Um, it's not off-putting, but it, it seems like they might not have roasted chilies enough. I don't know if they use chili powder or actual chilies, but um it's ever so slightest bit of like like I said, a vegetable vegetable. I always I don't can't say vegetable. They say vegetable. I don't know why. Uh, finish on it. But it's really nice. I actually enjoy this beer a lot. Mm. Yeah. That's really well made. I like this sucker. Artwork, everything about it. That chili heat, like I said, is there. It builds a bit, but it doesn't even get close to being spicy. Like I said, it's not 
hot. It's a little bit more spicy than anything. Um, like a little bit more chili out of it. Definitely um, getting some lactose out of this. If it's not in there, then I'm just getting it because I want it to be there. But it feels like that lactose is kind of battling, um, excuse me, um, that chili and kind of keeping it down a little bit. If they dialed that back and let that chili kind of come out, be a little bit better or just ramp up the chilies. Really beautiful mouthfeel on it. Nice cinnamon, not over the top by any means. And uh, like I said, the mouthfeel is just fantastic. Yeah, it's maybe the best pure out of all the ones he sent me. Or best, what I like out of all the ones he sent me. Um, they were all really good. Um, none of them were bad. Some I like more than others, and I think this might be the leader in the clubhouse for me. Maybe tied with the Brooklyn. The Brooklyn was really nice. It just lacked, it was a coffee stout with um, bourbon, uh, Asian bourbon barrels, and it just really lacked coffee. Even it was a good beer. When you say you're going to make coffee stout, there should be coffee in there. Hmm. That's delicious. Uh, rating wise, I'm gonna give us a 91. 91 overall. Really nice beer. Um, I think I don't know if there's a bottle date on here. If there's not, then uh, fucking bottle date your bottles, motherfuckers. That's what you're supposed to do with beer. I don't care what you make. Put a bottle date on it. Um, I don't think it's gonna. It's not gonna gain. It's not gonna. Lose. I think when you get it, drink it. I don't think you're gonna get any any kind of additional. Well, that's not true. You probably gain a little bit. Of, you're gonna lose a little bit more chili, but you might gain a little bit from it. But it's not something that's age. I want overall and value and availability and gloss over the whole thing just because I didn't pay for it. It was sent to me from a brewery I never had, so I couldn't even comment on that stuff. So there you go. If you like what, will you like Third Rail's alternate side? Um, if you like your chili beers, if you like your Space Ghost, but you think that's too hot or you like a chocoveza, but you want something a little bit different that's not as hot chocolatey and just a little bit more of a spicy stout. You definitely like this. It's more of your chili beer, you know, your prairie brown, stuff like that. If you're into that kind of style of beer and you just want something different from a small brewery that apparently makes pretty good beers, it's worth checking out. So there you go. Another review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. If you did or you didn't or somewhere in between, please leave a comment in the comment section below and like and subscribe and all that fun stuff. If you like, check us out anywhere else on the internet, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Untapped, Massive Beers, and all four of those places. And uh, yeah, another review down. So hopefully, guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully, you're enjoying a nice stout brewed with chilies and cinnamon right now. Hopefully, see you next time. Cheers.